morning everybody it's like 10 a.m i'm out here in hamburg germany on a little getaway from oldenburg we had a super crazy last month of basketball we have a little break for the fiba and i wanted to get away get out of the city kind of relax and stuff we just hosted the german cup final four which is actually a huge deal it went really well we didn't come away with the championship but we got we got to the championship we lost in the championship it was tough but it was fans were incredible everything was awesome but i just need some time to recharge and kind of reset before this final stretch of the season with playoffs coming up so yeah got some really cool stuff in the work for the channel don't want to give away too much but we're really trying to show you more of the emotions that come with kind of playing basketball overseas so look forward to that today i'm gonna show you guys kind of off day around hamburg chilling touring the city a little bit just recharging it hope you all enjoy and uh i'll catch up with you all soon so. all right the hotel i'm staying at has a little fitness center so i think I'm gonna hit that this morning, get a little mobility. Probably a light upper body lift. It's been like four days since I hooped. Bring on my bands, my foam roller. Start the morning out right. Make sure I'm feeling good, that I'm actively recovering. Oh, this is this is actually pretty embarrassing, but start the day, I gotta start with my vitamins. Didn't have a Ziploc bag. So the vitamins are in one of my, one of Benji's poop bags. So no judgment. Please. I've been having a lot of, seeing a lot of results. I don't know, it could partially be mentally, but I've completely changed my supplement routine. Yeah, I gotta get my supplements before I work out. Oh, it's sparkling water and it, to down that with vitamins is not pleasant. Burn, it's like drinking a soda in the morning. Uh -uh. Breakfast. All right, bye buddy. Since I'm on a break from basketball, this workout's all about feeling better and helping my body recover. Because of the dynamic nature of basketball, the starting, the stopping, the cutting, the jumping, the running, all of that, hoopers tend to get really tight hips, and me especially. So I always start my workouts with a lot of hip mobility. Tight hips can lead to back pain, knee pain, and a lot of other problems along your chain. I do this kind of as a start to every workout, more of a daily vitamin type thing. After I finish up with my mobility, I do two strength movements. Today I'm doing split stance RDLs and goblet squats. This isn't heavy weight, but more so just enough weight that I can feel my muscles working and kind of activating my chain again. After my two lower body exercises, I hit an upper body pump with dumbbell bench press and two burnout sets of pull-ups. I hit a quick med ball core circuit and the workout's just about finished. I feel better than I started and that's all that matters. I may or may not have gotten a little carried away on the off day, but my body is feeling good. Excited to be back in the gym. So now I'm just gonna get a little extra recovery. The gym here has their guns, so almost done with the workout. We'll go get Benji, then we'll go get some coffee and tour the city. So. The one day I wanna travel and tour city, it is pouring down rain. That's a menace when I'm trying to put on this harness. Feels like a limp body. He acts like he hates his hoodie, but it saves him, so. In the middle of the summer, got my hoodie on. You wanna pout, huh? You're not going. Come on, let's go, let's go. Let me, let me educate you all real quick. Hamburg is Germany's biggest port, the third largest port in all of Europe. And I think this is the most famous part. If you guys keep up with the channel, you know I really like brewing my own coffee. Um, so this coffee shop is super cool. They have five different ways you can brew it to take this up. So like you have the AeroPress, Chemex, V60, and Kalita Way. This is St. Nikolai's Church. It's like a cool little lookout. Can't go up there because of Benji. A little disappointed, but it's okay. moment of vulnerability here. I feel really far away from home. 
I miss my family. Got three or four more months left in the season, but. Give me a bark if you like Hamburg. No bark? I don't know how much more iconic Hamburg you can get. But this is it right here. Listen, I know you guys are probably sick of me saying this, but Hamburg's one of my top cities in Europe. Apparently like all the cities I visit. The cool thing about Europe is each city is very different and you can like feel the personality. I like Hamburg, like people have been so nice. They're very welcoming. And I, that was kind of the reputation with North Germany. Hamburg fits it to a T. I really like it, it reminds me of home. I don't know, Hamburg, you're sneaking up there on the list. You made it back, buddy. We made it back to the hotel. We walked like five plus miles, so we're pretty exhausted. I think me and the boy, we're about to take a nap. Say I'm taking a nap. All right, me and Ben just woke up from our nap. I'm about to go to Miniature Wonderland. It, apparently it's like a, like a miniature figurine setup of a bunch of di cool different areas. Um, it's super famous here in Hamburg though, so. I know you want to come, but I'll see you right after, all right? We'll go on a big walk. It's that tourist trip. I didn't know this was like as big as a attraction as it is. It's like a Thursday night and it's a 30 minute wait. So it says it takes three hours to get through it. I gotta make, I gotta get done in an hour and a half. So we'll see, but I'm excited. I have no idea what I'm walking in. We're on our way back home. It's been a super long day. We're tired. And I hope you guys were able to enjoy the off day in the life of a pro hooper out here in Hamburg, Germany. So say goodnight, my boy. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Say goodnight.